Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. It doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, it's exact same instructions for all of them. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen, we're going to see the Apple logo. Just scroll there and you're going to see this. Your third option will say the App Store and then second option should say System Preferences. Now before we used to do all our updates under the App Store, however now with System Updates, they're all under system preferences. So we're gonna go right into there. Once we pull up system preferences, we're gonna see down here below, on the left side, third option will be software updates. So let me just scroll in a little bit and here we go, software update. Once you click there, you should just refresh until you see this. So this is the latest update available for your Mac. We're gonna click on view more. And once we do that, we're gonna see this, that in fact, it is almost two gigs, 1.94 gigs. However, although it's a small update, it might take your Mac just about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your internet speed, plus how old your Mac is in order to download and install this update. Again, although it's a very small update. So before we go on and click on install now on the far right hand side, you're gonna see that. We're just gonna close this up and I wanna show you one thing on your Mac. Now all of us have Time Machine. Now you may not have it as an option up here, However, if you do, right now would be the time to go on and back up your Mac right now. It's always good to back up your Mac before you run any updates, just in case something goes wrong. Most likely everything's gonna go fine, no problems, nothing's gonna happen. However, if anything does happen, if you run Time Machine and you have a backup, then that's no problem. You can just go back and just have everything back how it was before. Anyways, if you guys have no idea what Time Machine is, I do have a separate video that teaches you what Time Machine is and how to set that up with an external hard drive. But for now, we're gonna get back into this update. And right here, we're just gonna tap on update now on the top right hand side. We're gonna just do that. And then it's gonna just download the updates. So we're gonna see this as well. Just click on agree. And here we go, so it's gonna download. So it doesn't matter if your Mac turns off for any reason, during the downloading process. No, not really, we can just re-download it again. However, when it turns off in the middle of the installation, that can be a big problem. So just make sure not to do that. Don't let your Mac die on you. So if this is a MacBook, for example, even if you have 90% of your battery fully charged Mac, I would still recommend hooking it up some electricity so that way you know nothing bad will happen. If you're running this on an iMac, Mac Pro, or anything like that, Mac mini, then don't worry about it. Just don't unhook it. Hopefully your electricity doesn't go out for some reason. But other than that, hey, that's why I told you guys, make sure to have that backup just in case. For now, we just have to wait for this to download. Obviously, some of you, this could download in seconds. For others, this could take minutes, even hours. It all comes down to your own internet speed. Right now, all we have to do is wait. At this point, you could technically just leave your Mac be and it will install the update by itself. However, if you are looking at your Mac, it will give you a message to install now. And then it's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo and that would be it. So as mentioned, if you just left your Mac, it would just turned off by itself. It would have done a countdown, about one minute countdown, and then it would have restarted by itself. You would have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar, then it's just gonna restart and you're gonna see this you're back into your desktop. So right now, if you're not back into your desktop, you might have to log in back again. It depends on your setup. However, under software update, you should see this, where it tells you that it's all up to date and we're finally done with this update. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.